Sabbath afternoon, June 22. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you as we come to the end of this series of lessons. We thank you that we know that there is a plan, that you have a plan for each of us. And that plan is our salvation. And Jesus came and lived and died and rose again for us so that we could have that salvation. And we have the opportunity of sharing it with others. But we know that before he comes back again to take us with him, that there will be difficult times. And we thank you that your word gives us hope and gives us the knowledge of your love and what you will do for us. Bless us as we open your word. May your Holy Spirit guide us and may our minds be enlightened. And today I'd like to pray for Takwemo Zamo, Rebecca from Uganda, from Mara Francis and uh, Dean Small, and for those who are listening in difficult places quite often, in Kuwait and Doha and for those in South Africa and in Indonesia and in Tonga and Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands and in, in Chile, Lord, wherever people are listening, I pray that you'll be with them and bless them right now as they listen. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory text this week is Revelation 21, verses 3 and 4. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Let's read that again, Revelation 21, verses 3 and 4. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. We can face the future with hope. Although challenging times are coming, whatever suffering we must go through, whatever hardships we must endure, whatever sorrows we experience, if we have hope, a better day is coming. We can live life today with purpose and joy. Franklin D. Roosevelt was president during 1933 to 1945, one of the most difficult periods of United States history. He was paralysed by polio and unable to walk unaided. He once wrote, We have always held to the hope, the belief, the conviction that there is a better life, a better world beyond the horizon. Albert Einstein, one of the world's most brilliant men, wrote, Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. And Alfred Lord Tennyson, a popular English poet during Queen Victoria's reign, once wrote, Hope smiles from the threshold of the year to come, whispering, It will be happier. In this quarter's final lesson, we will see Christ's steadfast love during the most exciting time in the history of the universe and his complete triumph in the great controversy. The Bible's last book, Revelation, gives us hope for today, tomorrow, and forever. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.